if you are still watching. Guys, I think it means you like the look of this build with paint without it. This is log cabin number two. My name is Unite the Clans. What is going on, you guys? Back in your life with another building tutorial here on the island. Uh, and sit back, relax, guys. This is log cabin number two. If you haven't seen the first, check the cards or the end card. We're at 61.5, 34.1. This is the Redwood Lake one of the best spots on the map and we're going to be starting right here on this foundation take a look inside this bird pause if you need to those are our materials i'll slap it in the comments as well uh, dive into this thing guys uh, we're starting this off with a two by seven foundation and there you go two by seven now we're going to add on to the front of this guys uh, a little bit two on each side like that and now that's your final look so two by seven with those two little uh additions on the front and uh, now we get to dive into uh the paint scheme so i want to show you what this looks like done unpainted so i built this little apparatus over here like people used to do for minecraft and i'm going to show you what the paint scheme looks like as we go so if you liked the paint job i showed you in the intro grab some brown paint and spray all six regions of your foundations and it's going to come out looking like that so for every part of this build guys we're going to step back here we're going to paint a little bit of it uh, and then you'll get to see what it looks like unpainted at the end uh, and then I can go paint it and show you what it looks like painted okay so we're diving back in and these are our front porch you're gonna need three wooden ceilings uh, to come across here, guys. And this is a good time to do the uh, shout out of the video. This is a new thing I do. Uh, the way my Patreon is set up, I mention in a video anybody who supports me, and I'm working my way through the list. And today's shout out is Cold Fire Sun. He is a patron, plays on the Geek server. Just wanna say thanks, man. If you guys are interested, check the link in the description. That's the last I'll talk about it. Let's get back to the build. So we're gonna be doing inside out wooden walls, which means, uh, on these inside corners, you might have a gap where you can see through. So we're going to go ahead and put fence foundations down uh, just on the inside of the wood. And we're going to do one each on the front of this porch for pillars as well. Uh, and I try and find the inside snap point. Uh, it's particularly difficult at times, depending on where you are. So you can see this one's trying to pop all over the place. Uh, so I'll hop on top usually and find the spot. There it is. Come on. Come on. There you go. All right, and now stone pillars, guys. You're going to want to put one on the inside corner of your front porch like that. Uh, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Um, and when you're painting these, you're going to paint them brown as well. Uh, all, whatever, six regions of the pillar, every side. So you're going to want them there and there. Uh, these ones will eventually go too high. And on the front, we're going to do a one high pillar here and here. And these are going to frame your front entrance. So this is the way in and out of the build. Take a look at what we got right there, guys. Lay your foundations and your pillars in. So if your front step is too high, like mine is here, guys, you can slap in a ramp. And then um, you're going to want wooden railings. Uh, so whatever's on my hotbar now is a lot of the upcoming parts of the build. You can take a look. Um, yeah, get wooden railings here on either side. And that's going to, like I said, frame your entrance. So when it comes to painting, guys, the wooden railings, the wooden ceilings, all of that remains unpainted. But the pillars, like I said, go brown on all six regions all right so back to the unpainted version of the build and we're going to start with our walls guys you're going to want a door frame first and um, where you don't have the fence foundation along this row go ahead and place it inside out now when it comes to placing the ones where you do have the fence foundation you now have a whole new set of snap points so you might get that you might get this little gap uh, so what i would like to do is here we'll go ahead and put it in flip it and then walk as close to the front as you can and look at your feet and then you should be able to snap it like I did there. I will do the same thing on this side with another window frame. Perfect. Uh, now we're going to be recapturing a look that I used on log cabin number one, uh, which like I said, I will link to you guys in the description, maybe at the top of it. We're going to do window frames or door frames, excuse me, right on top of these window frames. Before you do, I almost forgot, go ahead and put your stone pillars up another level on the corner here. And then, um, yeah, we're going to do a door frame above the window frame to look like a slightly different sized window. You'll see what it looks like when we get deeper into the build, guys, but that is the rough concept for the front. All right, now to frame in the sides of this front porch, just use standard wooden walls. You're going to look at the stone foundation and flip them inside out so you get that look. Now, if we hadn't put the pillars on the corner, you would be able to see through these corners into the inside of the house right now. So that's the main reason you're going to do that. All right, we should be looking a little something like that. 
I do want to show you guys uh, how to continue uh, the walls here. So we're going to have multiple peaks on this house, and the first one is going to be right here. So for this bottom layer, I do solid wood walls, because if you want to have a two-story building, you could hide some storage down here, and up top you could do a bedroom. Uh, and so we're doing the windows right above. It looks particularly good on the other side. And make sure all of these are inside out and put a peak on the top. We're going to go do the same thing right here on this side. Perfect. Now we're going to add one right here at the long end, the, the, the narrow end of our original 2x14. Do the same thing. Inside out walls on the bottom, inside out window frames on top, and add a point like so, and go do that on this end. We have a couple little gaps here and here in between the uh, arches the arched sides and we need to fill them in with wood walls basically match what you did on the porch side like that and then we get to move on to the back perfect all right for the back guys uh, you're going to want to alternate window frames so every other spot is a window frame you're going to end up with four of them across the back if you start uh, on the outside edge like like this come on there we go. Uh, so you'll end up with four and uh, spaces in between all of them. On top of the window frames, go ahead and do more of the door frames. We're going to end up putting greenhouse windows and doors in here to look like a two-story window. Uh, and I think it's going to come out looking pretty good. So that's what you should look like with all your door frames in place. Go ahead and slap walls everywhere else. So if you guys find this useful, if you do this build in your world, I would love if you could share it out. I do these kind of builds so you geeky people like me and you can have better looking houses in Ark. Should be looking like that, guys. Um, yeah, share it out if you like it. And then finally, we're going to take a look at the paint scheme for the wood. Uh, number one, region number one, with cantaloupe. Now this is going to look a little weird, but the idea is to capture the pine look of a log cabin. It often has this yellowy, orangey look to the outside of the wood. So that's what we're going for here. If you're painting paint along guys region one and that does it guys uh go ahead take a break and we're going to come back in the second half and finish this build welcome back geeks your house should be looking a heck of a lot like this if you have played along so far if you're painting it it's gonna look good as well Guys, if you build this in your world, make sure you tweet at me, at Unite the Clans on Twitter. I would love to see your version of this thing. So, that's what we're looking at right now, and it's time to get on to the roof. So, because we have multiple arches on this place, guys, we're going to get a unique look for our roof. We're going to have roofs intersecting. Uh, to make this easier, I'm going to fly, uh, use the fly command, and I'm going to show you what uh, this is going to look like. So, uh... On the outside, when you have two peaks like this, the house ends up looking amazing. Especially if you use stone roofs, they seem to just merge together beautifully. So if you fly underneath, it's going to look like that. And if you're cool with that, don't worry about this next step. But if you do want to hide that, if you don't like the way that looks, I'm going to show you how to hide it. And you'll be adding a little architectural detail in the process. So grab some stone ceilings. Now, because we've built inside out walls, we have a million snap points, a million. Uh, and so you wanna find the one that sticks out the front of the house like this. And it's actually gonna frame the bottom of that triangle of the A-frame of the house. And um, if you do it right, it should not stick out on the left. Now, when we come over to this side, you can't snap to the one you already have in place because it's not gonna go where it wants to go. Come to this corner and do the exact same thing. Try and make sure the ceiling sticks out uh, through the uh, bottom of the triangle of the A-frame. And now we're gonna fill in these gaps. Ideally, you want nothing sticking out the back. So go ahead and place these in, guys. You may end up with them not lining up quite right. You want this side to line up. So you can put these triangles on. And then if you're still sticking out on this end here, you can try and rotate around, see if you can find the right snap point. I can't? No. Okay, so we now have two uh, placed on top of each other here, I think. Perfect. If I were to destroy the other one, we would lose our little um, triangle wall. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and place a ceiling on the other side of it here. And with that one in place, it should support it. We should be able to break this and put it back in the proper position so it's not sticking out too far on the back. Let's see if I can do it. There you go. That's what it should be looking like. You can now take this one out, and that is the finished product. You are going to get this little bit sticking out, but don't worry. Uh, so that's how we're looking, guys. You want to take this process and repeat it over on the other half of the house. And there you go, with both sides done, it should be looking like this. A little hard to get the camera in the right place. Uh, before we do any more, guys, let's slap in a couple chimneys. No good log cabin is complete without a roaring 
fire. So we're going to center this and it's going to be super easy because we just place it between those two windows. Back it on up to the wall until the wood just sticks through. Take a half a step back and snap it right there in the middle. So that is that. We'll go ahead and put one on this side too, but you can put them anywhere you like, guys. Uh, this house is designed to have a uh, half a dozen places for chimneys. So show me where you end up installing them on your version. And now we move on to the paint job, guys. Take a look at what we're gonna do uh, for the places we, uh, the pieces that we just installed. So come over here and your stone ceilings paint one through six, every region brown. The same as you did for the foundations and for the pillars, they're gonna come out looking like that. You now have these little triangle pieces, same deal. And if you didn't know, you can paint a chimney. So this one's up to you. It looks good as is, but I'm slapping it with brown paint all six regions. Let me know what you think. And there we go, guys. We are going to begin placing in our uh, sloped roofs. I had so much trouble doing it on the other side that I'm going to try and do this side with you. Now, the reason that you begin to have trouble is because we have so many snap points. And sometimes when you're doing the intersecting ceilings, they can only work one way. I could only place that one, then that one, not the other way around. But if you do it in the fashion I'm doing, whether you're flying or standing on the back of a triceratops or something, you guys should be able to do this. Uh, so you may end up with weird snap points like that. So when you have your eaves on the front of the house, you want the two stone edges to line up and I can't seem to do that here. So uh, instead, I think what we're gonna do is actually push it to the further out snap point and then we'll come back around to the corner here, break this one out and, uh, and change it snap point too. So when it comes to the roof guys, I'm taking the time to show it to you how to do it because it's gonna be tricky and I know I'm gonna get comments going, how do you get your roof to line up? So. You just have to work at it, guys. This is arc, and it's never going to be easy. But this is what your roof should be looking like. There you go. Beautiful. And, guys, this is the house with uh, most of the roof done. Those are what the two sides look like. They were a challenge, so take your time with them. And if you're having trouble, just get it looking as best you can. Try and keep things lined up. But this is the final step, so it's not the worst thing in the world if it doesn't. So we're going to finish this off with stone sloped roofs across the back. You can once again see we're having snap point issues where things won't line up. So I'm going to go ahead and take these two out uh, and we'll see if we can line them up with the rest of the roof. Like that and like that. Perfect. So you now have a straight clean line. And around to the front of the house we're going to do the exact same thing. One, two, three roofs. Beautiful guys. So. I'm gonna back up and take a little bit of a look at that. And that's what your house is looking like. If you don't need a front porch, leave it there. Uh, if you do want a front porch, you're gonna take more of these sloped ceilings and bring them down to cover this little entrance area and it should intersect beautifully with those stone pillars. All right, for the sloped roof, guys, we've got a uh, unique color scheme. Region one is gonna be forest green and that's the outside of your roof. Everything else, brown. So two, three, four, five, and six, paint them brown. We're getting so close to the end of the build, I'm going to get to go work on painting this whole house soon. But um, I want you guys to see what it looks like totally naked, uh, totally unpainted before we get there. So onto the windows. This is a final detail and one that I really liked from log cabin number one. If you haven't seen that build guide, guys, it'll be at the top of the description. But um, greenhouse window on top of greenhouse window, and you're going to paint the entire thing green, region one through six, with the same forest green we're doing on the roof gotta look like that all right guys so the greenhouse windows are in place we did those everywhere but the front porch on the front porch we're gonna do something a little different uh, you're gonna want a little privacy so I think what we're gonna do is wood uh, we're gonna slap wooden windows here and here and even though we did the same style we're gonna do the wooden doors up top and they're actually gonna blend right into the wall right here guys do a glass door do a wooden door whatever suits you fancy and for these, just paint region one in brown. Leave the rest of the wood au naturel like we did on the walls, and that's the look you're gonna end up with. And guys, I think that does it. I think that does it for this. This is log cabin build number two. I really hope you enjoyed, guys. If you build this in your world, send it to me. If you use no paint scheme, if you use my paint scheme, if you use your own paint scheme, I wanna see it. Unite the clans on Twitter. And um, guys, at the end of the video, you're going to have a few options. Click on the picture of my face to subscribe if you like builds like this. Sit back. I'm going to be doing a lot more. And if this is the first Unite the Clans build guide you have seen, click that dang playlist. I think I got eight or nine of these things now, guys. That does it for this one. I'm Unite the Clans. Thank you for watching Log Cabin build number two, and I'll see you in the next video.